Are you making preparations for God's promises to come to pass? Well, stay right here because that's what's coming up next. Thank you for tuning in to the Sharing the Word of God. My name is Chuck McGee, and I am so excited that you uh, decided to join me today, taking a little time out of your schedule. I really, really appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Please consider uh, subscribing. I do videos every single week, and I look forward to seeing you there. And to all my subscribers, I thank you over and over again for watching my videos, leaving comments. I really do appreciate it. Are you making preparations for God's promises to come to pass? I mean, we, we schedule everything. We prepare for everything. Schools, dates, trips to the mall, picnics, vacations, going out on dates. We prepare for everything right down to the nitty bitty things. And you know we do, we all do. Take a woman who's pregnant. She's so excited. She's about to carry this baby, and so she's going to make preparations for everything. She finds all the books to read and reads every single one of them. She gets the nursery ready, finds the paint, finds the color of the carpet for the furniture that's going to fit that baby girl or baby boy that's on its way. It's just a matter of time when that baby will come, and she is going to wait every single minute. Look at how we react when we order something in the mail. We know it's going to take three days, but we just can't wait for it to come. We prepare for it every single day. We think maybe it's going to come early, so we go to the door. We check it every single day. It's amazing just how we prepare for something that we order in the mail. And look how we act when we know we have a date coming over, or maybe we have some friends coming over. We prepare. We get that house cleaned the day before. We do our shopping. We get everything planned for dinner. We prepare once again down to the T of everything that we, because we want that dinner to be great. We want those people who are coming over to be satisfied and to be happy. My question for you today is why aren't we doing this for God? Why do we struggle to put forth the same effort towards God as we do in all the events that I just explained and much, much more? This is the kind of attitude that we all need while we wait for God's promises to pass we need to put our faith to work. Once we ask God a question or ask him to solve a problem, we need to do three things. Well, I'm gonna list three things and I'm sure there's many, many more, but these are the three things that I think that we should do. Number one, be eagerly awaiting for his answer. Number two, we need to be serving actively, aggressively, and attentively. And number three, be patient. When you plant that seed, we don't know behind the scenes what God is doing for us, but we need to have the faith and know that he is doing something for us. We need to know that he, once we ask that question from him, we need to know and have faith that he is working on it and he will answer it in his own time. Remember, when our hearts are eager to hear from God, he will rush right in with a solution. But in many cases, this waiting period that we sometimes go through gives us time to prepare for the answer that he is going to give us. In that time, we need to have strong faith and we need to believe that God is going to come through for us because he always does. When you pray for something or ask him for something, you need to know that while you're praying for that, he is hearing you and he is going to deliver an answer. It may not be right then, it may not be tomorrow, but it will come. And also, it may not be the way you want it to be, but it's the way he wants it to be. Don't question that. It is the best thing for us because he always does the best thing for us. So today, when you're praying to God and when you're asking something from him, be prepared for the answer that you're gonna get. Get excited, keep standing, keep believing, because God will come through and when he does come through it's the greatest thing for you because he always wants what's best for you in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 and without faith it is impossible to please him 
For whoever would draw near to God must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. Hebrews chapter 10, verses 35 and 36. Do not throw away your confidence, which has a great reward, for you have need of endurance, so that when you have done the will of God, you may receive what was promised. Hey, I want to thank all of you for spending this time with me today. I hope this message inspires all of you to prepare for what God is going to deliver you. I hope it inspires you that when you pray to God and when you ask something of him, right when you're praying, you know that it's going to be delivered. You know that he's going to come through for you because he is a loving God and he loves you. Please hit that like button. It's that neat little thumbs up button that's right above the uh, comment sections. You all know where that's at. But it's important that you hit that like button if you do like it. And I ask that you um, leave a comment. I do have a question for you. How are you going to start preparing for God's promises to pass? Leave those uh, comments in the, in the comment section. I, uh, I'm interested to see what you have to say. I always reply to the comments. I have such a wonderful base in all of you. All of you guys comment in my, uh, on my videos and, and I really do appreciate and I, I love the, the uh, comments back and forth. And whether it's good or not, leave a message. Tell me how you're preparing. And I just want to wish all of you a wonderful evening. God bless all of you. Have a great day.